Hi, welcome to my Antergo system here. We've been writing articles on ErgDubWord.pe for all Arch installations with every desktop environment that, uh, that matters is a big word, but uh, the main desktop environments. And then there's uh, the same goes for Antergos. So uh, un unlike we have this little logo here on NeoFetch, but uh, NeoFetch doesn't know what we are on Antergos open box and I've made this little logo up here so you'd know but uh, in here you see it as well on Tergos Linux so <clears throat> what we're gonna do now is we're gonna record every step we're gonna take to start up a new on Tergos open box clone so we just installed open box like we in would install yeah, open box like we would install any of the desktop environments we can use in Antergos and there are about six I believe with the base installation seven and <coughs> <coughs> sorry and there we are so this is the normal look we have when we start our system let's go to full screen mode It's normal that we have uh, a little bit strange look, but uh, this is quite strange, this white border to the left. I'm wondering what's happening here. Let's uh, give it another go and uh, shut it down. Exit. Restart. As you can see, the exit button there has uh, some specific layout in the tutorial on, on ErikTube.pe. We've, uh, we've shown you examples that you have three choices to have this exit, this logout screen. That's a bit better. It's also in the middle now, the conky. And <coughs> let's go to full screen. Now it's quite dark and it stays like that. Okay. Um, let's go over it. So um, this is the look when we start open box when we start open box from Antergos out of the box, so to speak. Meaning I did not install anything. I did not change anything. These are the programs that are installed just from Antergos places. Recent files references take a screenshot and our exit button that we've seen now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna install everything that's available on the github okay uh, let's maybe check out if we can um, if anything happens I see this black border now at the bottom maybe we can control mouse click quit plank and see if we can restart plank no so we still have this black border down here still not happy with my resolution let's take a look at our virtual screen resize this is the correct this is the correct uh, screen size my friend uh -huh. that's how it should be and now we can quit and restart blank. That's how it should be. Now this is not in the middle, but whatever. So let's go to right mouse click applications. We go to the internet, we go to Firefox. It's gonna be here in, in the blank when, once we start it. And then when it's in the blank, let's move it out of the way. We can keep it in the dock and put it in the front like so and double click and then github and I'm gonna try out my scripts because last time I documented every little step I took one by one made tutorials about it on ericdubois.pe but this time I want to really see 
what will happen if I run everything and then I can check my scripts if I forgot something. So it's my own test. In the meantime, you can learn also that finding a file manager can be difficult. <laughs> let's keep that one in the dock as well. And let's make a new folder in which I will put all my GitHubs. So right mouse click is there is no terminal available. In the meantime, I have studied PC man FM, which is not a very uh, current or very um, not many distros use this kind of um, file manager so I can add here something I can say commands below may include extra options if necessary I'm telling him to run Alex terminal which is this thing here close and now if you go here open current folder in terminal F4 so that's what I want to do. Open current folder. Okay, git clone me right mouse click paste. All the things that were online are now here in a folder in the installation folder. Let's move that out of the way. You don't have this yet. You can have it, but you don't have this yet. There is no possibility. I'm trying as we speak some common shortcuts but no no such luck so after a while after my installation you can put it half half uh, the size half of the, of the window and in front of the screen etc but not now so tools open current folder like so let's make this a little bit nicer we can do so let's make this bigger first off background opacity okay not yet shown <coughs> uh, as maybe it might be possible that we that Compton is necessary or not loaded or anything like that so we'll check that later scroll back lines one more hide menu bar yes please the scroll bar too okay and okay aha Compton is loaded so we can see through it yes um, Antergos open box is uh, installed standard with Compton we'll see that in a bit let's go we don't need the well maybe we can show it another way view View, 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 sort files, folder mode, detailed list mode. Let's take check this one, like so. So installing new mirrors and all that, we just installed the system. So no need to do this. But I'm gonna do the packer. And packer is an AUR helper, Arch user repository. Let's say it's a big library where all the scripts are to install your applications. So that's that. Packer has been installed. Now I can use the word Packer instead of sudo pacman and stuff like that. So this one is done. Now we go to 100. 100 is installation of all the core software, meaning it's going to install uh, all software like Catfish, for instance, like Bleach Pit. Clementine, so it's alphabetically working all the way, it, it's way down. And let's take a look, it's working alphabetically down the list. Let's change this as well. Editor view, view system font, here it is 15. Okay, much nicer even with an HD resolution it'd be nicer to read like this so it's a collection of programs that I take with me from distro to distro stuff that I need other stuff that I don't need 
but occasionally need, you know. So it's an, a collection of programs that um, is useful. Okay. In the meantime, we're at evolution and FileZilla. The speed of the servers are a bit slow today. That's possible. Always a bummer when you make tutorials, if that happens. Let's wait for the script to finish. I do believe it's going very, very slow, as you can see on this thing here. So what I'm going to do is Control C. We have our script here to install the fastest arch mirrors for Belgium. So I'm going to run that one. Oh, my dear friend. No such file. Two zero, and then I should add four Belgium. I did use the arch mirrors for Belgium. Open. It's taking Belgium and all the rest. Looks good. And even so, I get mirrors from other countries as well. Poland. Strange. Anyway, let's try it again. 100. This is not downloading, this is installing. So let's wait till we download something. Aha. It's going quicker. So we did need to run the script there. Well, I'm glad I have the script. LSB release is, I saw that uh, in a moment, open shot, numlux, x, all things have their reasons, they are there because I needed it at some point in time. I needed lum, numlux, for instance, which is the numeric lock on your computer, uh, when it's lit or not lit. So if you start your computer, then your keyboard works, your numeric keyboard is lit. And uh, we can just type numlux space uh, on, and then every time when you reboot, your numlock is working standard. So there are always things, reasons why at some point in time I added it to the list. VLC, almost there. If I see VLC, I know we're at the end of the alphabet. And there we go. So this was 100. Let's put him where we were. Now 200. 200. I just took a few of the lists, so it's a big list, and there are lots of uh, scripts I do not touch, I do not install. It's up to you to install it. But there are a few things I really would like to install, and that's. Um, for instance, do we have, uh, no, I think Sublime Text is being installed as we speak. Okay, Sublime Text is installed. So now I can do right mouse click, Sublime Text, but I'm gonna do open with. And up there in the programming, it's, I think it was in the programming. Sublime Text, that selected option is default. Okay, put it as default. And I'd rather show it like this. Why? Because I can zoom, but also all the things without colors will not be installed. So it's very visual. 
NeoFetch is installed, Spotify is installed, Sublime Text is installed, and Hardcode Fixer. That's all that's going to be installed. Only four things. And there were four icons that were not following the proper icons from Numix. So this is Numix. And there were four programs, applications that were following their own icon. So these are the hard-coded icons, the ones that never change. Whatever team you choose, they always stay the same. And this little program is called Hard Code Fixer. So that's fixed. We were at 200. Now we're going to look at 300. Installing with Packer. So we need Packer, as you see. What's this? This is our iCandy software. The fonts. The. Oops, did I not open it with Sublime Text? The fonts, the Aureola Conkey, so the information you can have on your system. A Conkey is this thing here. This is a Conkey, but this is the standard Conkey from Aureola, which is just fine, but we want to have our own Conkey, naturally. And we have also the Sardi Extra icons, which are the result of scripting. And the scripts are inside from Sardi. So the Sardi icons have plenty of scripts. And you can change all these icons because they are, they are made out of SVG, meaning there are text files. And in a text file, you can change color. And then you have a new icon theme. So with scripts, I came to different kind of look, different kind of icon sets. And they have all been uh, hosted, they are all been gathered here in Sati Extra. Then there are the surfing icons, which is less strict. This is really circular with a shadow, and this is less strict, it can be anything. And then the Arc GTK theme, so not my Arc Colora theme, so, but the standard blue theme from Horst 3180. And then a collection of 100 plus plank themes, and we have a plank here, so we can have new themes now, 100 themes to choose from, depending on the wallpaper we have, and then the breeze cursor, the one that's white and nice. And in the meantime, it says Plank Themes version 2 sh does not exist. That's true, my friend. You're so right. I made a new update, version 3, and you should not forget to update as well. Uh, open should not forget to update as well this here so it says does not exist and we'll update it to the github later so now i'm gonna run it manually playing themes version 3 and there we are so that's that 400 install specific things what specific things not that specific I only want the not of fonts at this point in time. There are also other possibilities, but I only want the fonts. So that's no problem. An extra font doesn't hurt anybody. So that's an extra font. This is something else. I have retuned and re restyled my script here. All the things that are coming from the standard repositories are here, and all the things that are coming from the AUR are here. So the only thing you actually should read is this. So it's gone, this is going to be installed. Elex render is going to be installed. Auto start, I've just uh, omitted a uh, commentant with a hashtag in front, it's, it's commentant out. It's quite interesting to, to show you guys. Sublime text is very interesting. Comment, toggle comment, up, done. Now it's uh, it's going to be installed. So control Z and save again. Nitrogen is going to be installed. Phase is going to be installed. Menu maker is going to be installed. Will be menu generated. GM run is going to be installed. Arch Linux XKG menu open box arc kit is going to be installed. XFCE panel. Well, I'm not using it in this installation. So I'm gonna rethink this here. If I'm not gonna use it, I'm using Tint for a panel. 
and I'm quite uh, quite pleased actually about Tint. So no, not this time. I did it on Arch, not on Antergus. Okay, Compton is already installed, so it's just gonna skip it. But it's also I made I also make these scripts, for instance, that you can install them as well on Antergos Budgie or Antergos Cinnamon. So you need the Compton then. So it says here if the Compton is already installed, do nothing. Eh? So it's going to skip it, so that's okay. D menu, Alex input, player, CTL, control, open box Steam, Steam 2 already installed but anyway it's like I said also script for other so let's have a look what is he going to do what does that look like so fourth then let's make it a bit bigger maybe we can read better I want to see my blank Skipping, skipping, skipping. That's okay. Skipping, skipping. Already installed. So it's only installing the things that were not installed until now. Not losing any time, not losing any energy. Just doing what it's supposed to do, install things that are not installed. In a bit we're going to go to 4.15. It's a choice. You don't need to do this because we have the volume icon which is here, up here. And the only thing you can do is scroll over it. You can right mouse click it and open mixer. Yeah, Escape exit or right mouse click about a volume icon as you can see. Right mouse click uh, preferences as well status icon hotkeys osd so there are some things you can change in here okay but um i do like my specific kind of passive tray here icon which gives me the ability to change to other streams when uh, i have this uh, bluetooth uh, headset i have so ah yeah, by the way let's have a look if you reinstall everything again done so there's no energy uh, well there's no time lost when running it again it just skips everything if it's installed so that's how I wanted the script to work nice 450 Oops, it's gonna take some time. The Passistry, I've been looking so long for a good one and I believe I found it in this name, Passistry GTK3 standalone. Because, Control alt t nope, no terminal yet. Another click here, nope, not possible. Right mouse click, applications, to system tools, to LX terminal. Packer, passes tray. There are a lot of possibilities, and it's always trial and error to see what works on your system. And now I have this passes tray software installed, and if I run it, I get another one up here. Let's see if I can. It's this one. It's quite geeky, I know, uh, but it's very complete. So I can say where and what the source is, Firefox, Spotify, playback streams, you'll, you'll see them then, and, and so on. So it's, um, it's a neat thing for me. It's a choice. Like everything in Linux, it's a choice. The sound I'm not going to install, let's to share a folder with somebody else to share videos, photos, etc. If you have a Boost Bluetooth headset, this might help. The Conkey has been installed. 
and all the rest it's up to you to check if you want them or not but what we are going to install is my personal settings okay next up personal settings but maybe it's time for me now to cut the tutorial in parts <laughs> 